Hello, welcome to another video uh, dealing with computer basics. Today we'll be learning about input and output devices, uh, specifically focusing on the keyboard and the mouse, because so, you know, what we use every single day. Uh, before we start, I just want to show you this uh, picture of this guy. His name is John Wooden. Uh, he was deemed one of the best basketball coaches of all time. And uh, whenever he would come out uh, with his with his college um, players for the first practice every season, he'd always teach them one thing before they start the season. And what that was was how to tie your shoes. What? How how could he how could he take the time out of his college basketball time to take the time to practice tying their shoes and learn the correct way to tie their shoes? Because that's that's important. If their shoes are untied, they might they might trip on their shoelaces and miss a game winning shot. You know, you gotta start with the very basics. That's what we're doing today. We're going back to the very very basics of computers, and uh, they'll, I think they'll help you become better computer users. So we'll, we'll jump in. Uh, so our kind of our two goals of today uh, that you'll be able to use the mouse and keyboard a little bit better, and you'll also be able to demonstrate the use of keyboard shortcuts, which are huge time savers and they'll help you use your mouse less which is one of the goals of being a computer uh, efficient computer user um so we're gonna have lots of new advancements in the, in the, in the future um but they all you think of whatever events you want to think of and you know, every single device can either be classified into an input or an output device okay an input device is if we as the user we send signals into the computer, okay? And then the computer outputs uh, data or pictures or information back to us, okay? Uh, an output is what is what gives us that information back to the user. Again, we are the, we are the user, and then it all depends on which way the signal's going. So for example, a keyboard. Do you think a keyboard would be an input device or an output device? Keyboard would be an input device, very good. Okay, what about a projector? Do you think a projector would be an input or an output? Projector would be an output device because it's outputting what's inside the computer. Very good. Uh, headphones, that would be an output because it's letting us listen to music that's being that's coming from the computer. Mouse, we're sending signals into the computer. Printer, we're getting information out. Uh, and our And just a monitor would be an output device. Uh, this is the guy, uh, Douglas Engelbart, that uh, decided that it should be called a mouse, and it's just because uh, it just because it looks like a mouse. With uh, well, if you have a wireless mouse like me, it doesn't look like a much like a mouse. But uh, most mouse, uh, a, a normal mouse, will have a wire in the computer, so it looks like a mouse. That's why we call it a mouse. Uh, a mouse can do five things. A common mouse can do five things. So pause the video and try to think of what those five things could be. All right, let's see how many how many things we got. Left click, right click, scroll, move the cursor. Can anybody think of the last one? Eat cheese. Come on, that's been the first one. All, all mice eat cheese. Sorry, it's a cheesy joke, but moving on. Okay, let's talk about those things. Okay, left click. Uh, left click simply translates to the computer open or do this, okay? We use left click all the time, but I don't think sometimes we we forget what a left click does, okay? If I click on this slide or that slide, that slide, my left click, it's saying to open this slide over here, okay? If I click up here on this little open new tab, it knows that to do this, okay? I call it the Nike click, just do this, open this, okay? Our right click is a little bit different, okay? A right click is dependent upon where we are. As I right click around my screen, it does different things depending upon what I'm right clicking on. Okay, so what I call I call right click your best friend. Okay, what it does is it opens up hidden options, shortcuts, or special menus. Okay, a lot of times when my students have problems uh, with lots of different programs and softwares, websites, um, I usually I, if I even if I don't know the answer, my first aunt, my first my first thing I tell them to try to do is right click on it and a lot of times that helps them find the answer okay so right click 
opens additional options to help us find the answer, okay? Uh, scroll, that should be the thing in between your left click and right thing, right, left click and right click, uh, so you can scroll up and down. Um, there is a keyboard shortcut. If you hold down control, which is the very bottom left-hand key of your keyboard, and then you scroll in or out, uh, it only works on certain things, then that helps you zoom in and out, but we'll probably talk about it in a different video. Uh, this is kind of some pictures showing the history of the mouse. Um, used to be very, very different than we have today. Uh, for a while, only actually only had one click, the left click, and then after a while, I finally uh, integrated the, the right click, which that was a big move. And then it really hasn't changed since then. Maybe someday we'll get something a little bit better, but for right now, we've, we, there's gaming mouses that do some crazy things, but um, we basically haven't moved past this for a, for a long, long time. Um, some mouse shortcuts. Um, so if you double click on a word, it highlights it. So that will let you delete it, or if you want to copy it and paste it, that just is a really quick way um, to, I guess, like, especially like up here, like, well, that's a triple click. If you triple click, then it selects the whole thing. But I always, I always see students like trying to like highlight the whole word and they mess up and like, oh shoot, let me try again. I'll try this way. Oh shoot, let go. If you just double click on the word, it selects it really quickly. Okay. Uh, triple click uh, selects the whole, it's like one, two, three, that selects the whole paragraph or sentence. So I always see people trying to get this whole thing and they always mess up, just triple click. And you can copy and paste or whatever you're trying to do with it. Okay. Uh, hold down control and zoom in and out of your mouse. I'm not sure why it's not working on my slideshow, but it does work. You hold down control and scroll in and out. Works in a lots and lots of different programs. Uh, moving on, kind of the history of a keyboard. A lot of keyboards today are actually the same same type as a lot of the main um, typewriters. Not all typewriters are the same, but the keyboard that is probably sitting at your desk is probably um, laid out exactly the same as the most common types of keyboards and they, they just didn't make a switch they never they never changed because everybody already knew how to do a typewriter uh, so when they switched to a, the first keyboards they they just kept it the same so people don't have to relearn it we've been learning the same way ever since okay uh, keyboard shortcuts okay let's talk about this for a minute um, this will help you become a lot better computer user um, so these are the three main these are like bread and butter, like these are the most basic keyboard shortcuts you need to know, okay? Most of your keyboard shortcuts will will involve the CTRL or the control key, okay? So the very bottom left-hand corner. What do you, what finger do you use to hit that? You gotta make pinky promise to yourself that you're always gonna use your left pinky to use control, okay? Don't use your pointer finger, use your thumb, your pinky, okay? I know it's gonna kinda seem awkward at first, but I promise over time you'll become faster. So use your pinky for the control always. And then whatever, whatever other keyboard you're, you're using, because there are lots of key, keyboard shortcuts you can use if you have your pinky on there, okay? So let's just let's test this out. So, so going back to here, so I'm gonna copy this, okay? What does copy mean? Control, I'm pulling my, my control key then C for copy. What that does is it allows you to clone or make a copy of whatever it is you selected, okay? Cut, highlight over that, control X, that cuts it out. It's now gone, okay? X is kind of, if you open up a pair of scissors, it kind of looks like an X, that's how I remember that one. C is easy for copy. Uh, control V is paste, so that's how I'm able to bring that back, or that's how I'm able to make multiple copies after I copy it. I can then do control V, control V, control V, control V to get a bunch, okay? Um, and V, I, I remember that, I kind of look at that like a, a old elementary glue bottles. If you squeeze that, the paste out, you know, but anyway. Um, so yeah, those are, so practice those, pause the video, um, open up a Google document, type a bunch of stuff, and just practice using those keyboard shortcuts. That'll, that'll, that'll really help you save time when using computers. Um, in summary, um, all devices are either an input and output device, and it depends on which way the data is going. Is it going into your computer or is it going out? If it's going in, it's an input. If it's coming out, it's an output. Um, and then keyboard shortcuts, mouse shortcuts will save you a lot of time. You've got to pay the price now and just start using them. Okay, If you start to use it the other way, be like, nope, I'm going to do it the right way this time, and it'll just it'll save you time. Uh, right click is a huge help in using computers. Um, 
can't tell you how many how many different problems I've been able to solve when I don't know the answer when someone's like, hey, can you come help me with this? I'm like, sure, I have no idea, but I'll help you figure it out. I'm like, hey, why don't you try right clicking on it? You know, people designed software to react to a right click so that it'll, it'll help you. Okay. Learning keyboard shortcuts will save time and help you use the mouse less. Okay. Computer, real computer wizards, real computer experts, like they'll hardly ever use their mouse. They'll always be on their keyboard. There's so many shortcuts, so many, so many other things that I could show you guys that help you use your mouse less because the time it takes to bring your hand over, grab the mouse, relocate it, drag it up there, it's it's a waste of time. If you can do that with your key, keyboard shortcuts, then you've then you've really saved time. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. I will see you in the next video.